We're rolling. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh wait, wait. Let's see if it's. Let's see if it's. Oh yeah. So I have a two and a half year old. Yeah. Yeah. She was normal. Like um, she was not from The Exorcist. Like as uh-huh. as recent as like a week ago. Right. And now we're kind of trying to potty train and stuff like that. And she's uh trying. Putting up the good fight. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, who wants to be changed, right? No, no, I don't like being changed. It's part of that only child thing, I think. Yeah. My way. I always wanted to be an only child. No, you know. you think you did. I, I always wanted a brother or sister. Like an older sister, I think, would be like an excellent, you know. You get to meet all her, all her friends. Well, so that's kind of <laughs> what I mean. Good introduction to the, the, the older ladies. They'll teach you everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I've been finding out myself. Um, so when you, how do you go about the craft of songwriting? Does it just come into your head? What's the, what's the highway? How do you get there? Lots of different, lots of different roads. There isn't one way. Sometimes, uh, there's a song in All Good Stories called, uh, Wake Up. And it's sung with a young lady named Megan McNeil. And, um, that was, uh, I was on a BC ferry, bored out of my tree, and I was with wife manager Kathleen again, and, uh, she was, we were staying, we stayed in the car deck, and she was napping, and, um, things had been, uh, we have a, we have a fantastic relationship, everything's great, she's, we're each other's best friend, we'll be together forever, there's no question about that, but, um, it was one of those times where, When you have three kids like we have, and jobs, and business, and music, and stuff, you you become, um, start to become, you can become two strangers that just pass each other in the hallway on your way to your chores, you know? And and what wake up is, is just kind of a little bit of an outcry, a a, a reminder um, to pause and go, you know, look at what we've got, and look how fucking awesome our life is, you know? And, and, uh... And to, to re-recognize that. And um, and that was just, that was lyrics in that case. That was just lyrics first. I jotted them out and it was done in 15 minutes. I came home that night. I had no guitars on me at all on the ferry, obviously. And just came back and wrote the music that night. It was really simple. Totally, totally ripped off Pete Townsend. And uh, the song was done in, in over the course of a couple hours in that case. Um... And uh, it's one of my favorites that I've ever written. Um, others, uh, others, you know, you kind of have like a guitar lick first or a melody in your head. And I'll start singing nonsense words to the guitar. And, and then I'll sort of kind of ask myself, what, uh, what does that music sound like? Where does that take me? Does that, does that sound like a hike up to Heart Lake and kind of re-examining your life? Or does it sound like you're... Uh, out uh, out in Oyster Harbor paddle boarding, or uh, I get a lot of uh, inspiration from our surroundings here in Ladysmith. A heck of a lot more. Like I, I wrote a lot about the city when I lived in the city, but um, God, I don't miss it. It it you can only write, I think, so much about uh, uh, how uh, cold and unfriendly people can be. Oh, curious. Okay, let's 